Okay. <laughs> Good morning. Good afternoon. This is Bob Hambley, and we've got a great audience here today. I'm going to try to be the green smoothie philosopher. We're going to be talking to you this morning about the green smoothies that I'm making every day. I'll be introducing this in a five-part video so that you can, if you fall asleep, you can catch up in, in part two. Part one, of course, introduces the reason we're doing our smoothies, and that's to get healthy. I have some angels around me. They're gorgeous people. Sometimes they don't feel <laughs> like angels. Sometimes they don't feel quite as happy. She looks happy. He isn't feeling good. We want you feeling good. No matter what, we're about health. I'm a green smoothie philosopher, but it's about your health. That's number one in the philosophy that I'm talking about. We'll give you two and three in just a minute. The topic today is going to be about making the green smoothies, and I'm quoting a book from Victoria Botenko. We have, we're going to go with the basic material. Victoria is not a doctor. She's, she came over from Russia. Her family wasn't doing well. So she read a lot and experimented a lot and found out that leafy green vegetables seem to make her family better. That's what we're going to be talking about. But unfortunately, the family wouldn't eat them. So how do you get your kids to eat their vegetables? We're going to be trying to time this video now, and I forgot to turn that on. So I'll be letting you know roughly what the time is. So how do we get the kids to eat the vegetables? Well, her answer was to mix it with fruit. It worked. She used, and in fact, her number one basic recipe is just kale. So you fill up a container with kale, half a cup, and you pack it in with a, you, a peel, a mango. And then, of course, strip it away from the seed and add some water, and that's her initial smoothie. Now, I'm not going to be making exactly a, a, that particular smoothie, but we're going to be making our own. So let's get started. What are the greens that we've got here? Well, you go down to the supermarket, and I got some kale. Oh man, look at this. That is just gorgeous. I love it. So let's get started. Here's a piece of paper. Now, I end up getting kale on the floor no matter what I do, unfortunately. Mary Lou finds ways that this doesn't work. This is probably too much kale for the, the, the half cup, but I'm going to see how much of it I can pack into one of these smoothies. Uh, we've washed off the kale beforehand. There's probably our half a cup, and I'm going to just use our standard trick of cutting up the kale. I'm using the magic bullet. Most of the people who talk to you about smoothies will be using a Vitamix blender, but I'm using the Magic Bullet. This is an inexpensive thing. Costco had them for $29 one time. Usual price at Costco is about $49. It's powerful. It's great. And by taking the chunks, I pull away the stem, as you saw. I, we don't bring in, I don't grind up the stems, a little bit of stem, perhaps. But by trimming them down like this and then putting a small amount of water again, the half a cup or maybe three-fourths of a cup of water into the, the blender, we can now turn this on. And I'm not going to stop the video. We're going to go ahead and go through all that noise. Now, you can see I'll be pulling away and maybe talking closer to the microphone. It's Victoria blends her smoothies for approximately 30 minutes, uh, 30 seconds. I don't do that, but we try to get it nice and thin there. I may be making several smoothies today, so let's stop this thing now. We'll pack in some other, some of our kale into the other green smoothie for Mary Lou, and I'll make this a little bit later. So we have our beginning. There's our the greens, and you can get away with drinking this if you're very strong and powerful. I'm not. So we have now two tricks that I use. One is we need some ice. Normally, I would have prepared the ice beforehand, but it's convenient that we have this. On our particular blender, you'll notice we, this isn't quite half full. That's about the right amount of water for us to do six of these smaller ice cubes. Three, four, if it spills out, you can wipe it off. The paper towel is useful for lots of things. Five and six. So, and then I have a magic ingredient. We have a magic powder that I use instead of the fruit. This is the a health program that we're doing. And we're not going to be talking commercially here, but some of you will already know what my magic powder is. 
This makes a delicious chocolate smoothie that is that has the right level of consistency. Some of the smoothies you make come apart. They're, they don't stick together. And Valia, Victoria has two children. They're gorgeous children. We'll show you the, the pictures. Valia and Sergey are Victoria's children. Sergey on YouTube is just wonderful. He does edible vegetables, wild edible plants. And his YouTube videos are marvelous, especially the one from Coeur d'Alene. Valia did a nice video on how we keep this from separating. Right now, this is, it's, it's separated. With fruit, you have to add, she says, soluble fiber, so she puts a banana in her smoothies. You can do all kinds of things in your jar. I'm going to bl blend this mixture now together. We'll let that go for just a second. Notice it seems to be swelling up inside there. We're getting up near the top. And it is important that you just have half of the container because if you have the full container, it ends up slowing down the blender. We'll, uh, you'll hear it start to grind and strain, so turn it off if it is. You'll actually then also hear a sucking noise. As the air is mixed in, I'm not sure exactly why we get it, but don't strain the motor. Certainly you don't want any chance of fire. There it's done. Ah, ah, it is delicious. Ah, I wish you could taste it. So, sometimes I add another ice cube or two since I've got some extra just to keep the smoothie cold because that's part of what happens. So, we've got a breakfast. It's, 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 it's accomplished. We now have to clean up, of course. Now, I left a bunch of things out here. Uh, I left this out because we want you full of water. I don't especially want you full of plastic bottle water. Part of this philosopher stuff is you don't, you're not, we don't want to pollute the environment <laughs> any more than we have to. Carry your bottles, fill them up at the university. They've got big signs. The university filters all its water. The water is as good as the stuff you buy in the machines. Try not to use plastic bottles of water. So half of our battle here is a, a glass of water. I found that a gulp of water for me is about an ounce. We're asking you to have eight ounces or 10 ounces or 12 ounces because this is fairly dense. The two parts of the program are water and the smoothie, at least, and I can do three of these smoothies a day. Victoria f said that for her family, she needed about a pound of greens to make them better. I don't know how scientific that is. They did, she did some experiments on her own. I encourage you to experiment on your own. Talk to other specialists if you want to, but mostly let's do God's food plain with as little plastic, as little anything as we can. We found a magic way, blending the material, not juicing the material, blending the material with something that, that cuts the, the flavor of the greens is how we can make this work. So that I'm not going to spend a lot of time over here washing dishes and things like that, but really rinsing this out, maybe with a little bit of soap and water and letting it dry, we're through. I'm going to make another green smoothie for Mary Lou and whoever else wants to be in the audience. We may soon go ahead and give you Vitamix blenders. The big, we may buy another Vitamix blender and make larger quantities so we can serve all of the people in the audience like Sergey does on his video. I'm not quite ready for that. So what do we do for our big finish? Well, the big finish, uh, these are some cards that I got from my grandchildren. We want healthy children, of course. We want children jumping and enjoying, and we want children of all ages. We want you to be healthy. If this in any way is a secret, I'm feeling better. I've been doing this for two days. That's all placebo. But Victoria and her family got better and are living in a raw food way. God's food, plain, it makes sense. I want you to go slowly in anything you do, in any change you make. Um, but uh, Grandpas like you were why fun was invented. We want you to have fun in what you're doing while you're creating philosophy, while you're eating right. Eat right, exercise, prioritize. We'll have a lot of little rules for you. But let's end this YouTube video now. It's 8 minutes and 17 seconds. I think we're ready to go. I'm going to be enjoying the smoothie. And that was all for right now.